if you're just getting started on LinkedIn and you're trying to build your personal brand and you're trying to get your first 1,000 followers, then this video is for you. We're gonna jump in and so quickly like, I just wanna show you how powerful LinkedIn can be. Like I stopped posting a while ago, but I just wanna show you when I was posting every day and I've just started posting every day so you can follow me on LinkedIn. Check me out on LinkedIn over there, leave the description below. But if you look here, I, I was getting like 244 people view my profile page on a day, on that day, 231, 191, on low points, just 93. When I stopped posting, I was still getting like 45, 67, probably because of all the posts I posted before. So people are like finding your post, click on the post and go into your profile. And how it works, if your profile looks like a landing page, then they're gonna see the landing page. They're gonna see what you're about, who you are, all this kind of stuff. And then they're gonna click on the link and they're gonna basically click on your company page and start DMing you, either DM you and go, hey, I want to hire you, or they're gonna click on your software and say, okay, I'll try that free trial, or they're gonna click onto your website and book a, uh, a call with you from there, and it's super powerful. The amount of DMs I was getting on a weekly and monthly basis, and there were DMs that were easy to convert. I was running, I'm running a LinkedIn ads agency, I'm running a couple of different companies, but the LinkedIn ads agency was a sales process. I needed people to, to basically book in a call with me or I'd go out and get them to book in a call with me. Then I'd convert them on that phone call into a, a contract or three to six months, whatever it is. So that's the process I was going through. This is great for B2B SaaS companies, CEOs, people in companies, all this kind of stuff. So the first thing I would do is optimize your profile page. You need a really clear banner. The first thing, just think about cleaning the house first. Then we're gonna to go to the next step. So the first step is get a good banner, have a really nice profile, add a little video here. Don't oversell, just say who you are. It's all about engagement on LinkedIn, who you are. Make sure you have a clear, what do you do, how you can help people. So I've changed this over the years. Um, I used to say, I help people with LinkedIn ads. Now I do a few different things, so it's harder for me, but I change this actually depending on what I'm pushing really hard. So for example, I will push uh, B2B Hero or Marketing Hero, one of these companies. Add a link here to your website because how what it works is you're going to be posting a lot, you're going to be engaging a lot. People are going to end up on your profile. Like I showed you, I had 250 people. I had I was getting so many profile views when I was posting every day. People end up on your profile and then they want to know more what how you can help them. They click on that. So there is I'm on 7,000 followers at the moment, and basically you need to make sure you have creator mode on. So put that on. Mm -hmm and then you add an about page. So you need to make sure you write how you can help people, who you do, what you do, all this kind of stuff. So make sure you put the about page. I'll have more videos on the playlist on LinkedIn, specifically on optimizing your profile in way more detail. This is more of a run through of step-by-step. -step. Make sure you add the companies you work for so people can see all that. And then you have an optimized profile. It'll also show up on search. If you optimize your profile, I believe this one will show my, so I, I've had, 196 people uh, search for me in just the last week. Is that the last week? That's pretty good. So they're finding me, they're founders, agency owners, co-founders, really interesting people. And how that works is they're probably typing in things like LinkedIn ads or something like that and they find me because that's how my profile was optimized before. But I'm updating this now. But once you optimize your profile with all the description, all that kind of stuff, then LinkedIn will actually put you in a search. It has its own search capacity. 196 people a week searching for, finding me via search is awesome. I'm really happy about that. Um, so it's a very powerful thing to do. So step number two is make sure you, I believe it's all about content creation. So once you're optimized your profile, you need to get, this is kind of the big bulk of the work you need to be doing. And what I would say is at a minimum, do two to three times a week, but I would recommend doing five times a week. So you need to be sharing content. Again, check out my playlist. I have so many in-depth videos just on what kinds of content, but I'm working on video content at the moment, but also just straight words, kind of uh, just content with words is fine, with maybe with an image, but you should be sharing something like 80%. I'm always telling people, show your work, show your processes. So as a LinkedIn ads guy, before I was basically going really deep into, hey, I just did this thing on LinkedIn ads, check out my process, these are my results. It's kind of like a disguised, bragging or disguise case study, but I would also show the works and people were like, wow, that's so intriguing. Maybe I can learn from Phil because he's in the trenches every day learning. So that is really helpful if you're, if you're a, like a consultant or doing something like in Google ads or Facebook ads or whatever, but if you're SEO, 
But if you are doing, if you're like a CEO, you should be con showing content on how it is being a CEO, but also sharing processes from your company. So whatever your process is, you should be sharing that process because even if you're not ingrained with that process, people want to know about your process, but then you could be like, by the way, we have a SaaS company that does that. So if you're a cold email outreach company or something like that, you need to be sharing like content about how uh, you can write better emails and how to do this and how to do that. And these are the, we did, we wrote, we did an A-B test. People love this kind of stuff on LinkedIn. Like we did an A-B test between this and this. These are the results you can learn from that. So creating content, date, useful content, sharing your work, showing your work on a day-to-day -day basis. I would mix, sometimes throw video in there, other times just putting um, uh, infographics, whatever you want, but have a content strategy where you're sharing your work. So now suddenly you're sharing your work every day. People are seeing that work. And some of those peeps, people seeing your post, some of those people are clicking your profile. And then from that profile, you're going to be selling your profile pages, like your landing page. They're going to be seeing the banner. They're going to be seeing your website. They're going to be seeing how you can help them. And so you have this flow. You're getting engagement. Some people are clicking through onto your uh, post on your profile page and other people are even converting to DMs or going to your website. So this is really powerful. But this is not, you don't stop there. And this is where a lot of people stop. This is a really, I would say posting is just a, it's a big part, but just part of the process. The next part is engaging and commenting. So you need to be engaging and commenting. The reason is this is really powerful. So you need to be engaging on a day-to-day -day basis on other people's posts. So when I put out a post, I'll spend half an hour of that just liking and doing thoughtful, good comments, sometimes sarcastic and funny. I think it's okay to be a little bit, you know, sometimes like controversial, sometimes disagreeing, but make sure you're engaging thoughtfully on a um, daily basis with other creators on the platform. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna build out this goodwill with the other creators. The more you engage with them, the more they engage with you. And the more you do that, the more they engage with you, the more of your posts end up reaching their followers and the more impressions you get, the wider your your impressions get. I've seen people literally get like a million impressions. And one of the mo most important strategies for doing that is make sure you're engaging thoughtfully. And you can take this to a level. This is like a little secret tip. Uh, you can take this to the next level. And what I was doing at one point is actually personally DMing people and just having a conversation, not selling anything. This is really important. This is called social selling. It's not selling anything. You're literally just engaging with people, letting yourselves, you're inputting uh, subtly how you can help people by the way your profile page is optimized, so by the secret disguised bragging and case studies, all of this stuff, people know what you're going to be doing. You don't need to say, hey, do you need the service? You don't need to say that. But DMing people is all about, again, micro engagement, engage with them and just ask how they are. How's that? What are they struggling with? How are they doing? Don't sell anything. When you leave, and say, cool, and you didn't, because people are going to be like, are they about to sell to me? But when you just ask about them, go, cool, bye. And you haven't sold, it leaves a really good taste in the mouth. They're like, oh, that guy's really genuine. That's amazing. It creates like a little moment of someone, then they're going to engage, comment. They're going to be like your loyal follower after that. So if you're doing that a lot, that's really powerful. One tool I'm using at the moment is called Taplio. And I have an affiliate link in the description below. It helps the channel a lot if you use the affiliate link. But Taplio is an amazing, amazing tool to grow your... Um, to, they have a really good blog as well, but it's a really good tool to help you uh, kind of, what's the word, to systemize and automate part of the process. So it can like, it can engage, it can do outbound DM messages to people who have commented or liked on your profile. It's a really powerful tool. It can also have AI tools to help you write your posts, schedule your posts, and has really intense analytics. So definitely check out the link in the description below. I have a Taplio link. But the uh, next step after that is actually to do the networking. So I said this already, do networking strategically, actually do genuine, honest networking. Don't try yourself and just go talk to people, DM them. One thing I was doing extra, so this is the next extra, extra level of secret. I was actually having 15 minute quick conversations with random people, just saying, how you doing, man? You good? Yeah, cool, great. What's your life doing? What, how are you struggling? This is what I'm doing, cool, bye. And these connections are priceless. And if you do just a few of these each week, it builds over time and it builds and builds and builds and builds until you start your post, you become a real influencer on LinkedIn. 
promote outside of LinkedIn, make sure you have all the links on your emails. You're pushing people from other channels. So if you're doing YouTube or you're doing webinars, pushing people to LinkedIn to follow you over, over there, uh, analyze all this kind of stuff. But the final thing I would be doing is using Taplio specifically. So this is like a secret strategy. If you're now trying to, you're building your audience, but now you want to convert that audience into, into say, clients if you're an agency owner or a b2b SaaS product if you want to turn that into sales calls or approve free trials now you're going to use taplio as well to convert so you're using doing all this engagement but now you need to convert the conversion side is really important and how you do that is by actually for example rather than spamming people so people used to automate outbound messages using duck soup whatever sending millions of outbound messages and just pissing people off kind of thing. Now we're going to be doing a really soft touch strategy where we actually just engage with, so we can, we're not overselling with social selling. So anyone who liked or commented on your profile, you can just send them a quick message. How's your day going? You good? And Taplo can automate that process. You can upload all the people who like, say a post which reached loads of people and got loads of engagement. You can just send out messages, how are you doing, you good. And it's all about engaging at scale with Taplio. Again, the strategy is not selling. Um, I would engage with people first and then do a bit of research. And then if they look like they might need it, they'll reach out to you or you could potentially ask a soft ask, by the way, this is what if you need it, I'm here for you. But that's, we, we're leveraging Taplio and AI to basically do this quicker. So this is the process of going to, to get your first 1000 followers on LinkedIn. This is the process of building your brand on LinkedIn. Check out Taplio that's in the link description below. I'm also putting I'm going to be basically creating, I'm releasing two articles a day on my blog, b2bhero.co for stock link in the description below. So many resources, how to guides, and specifically right now, loads are going to be coming out on how to grow on LinkedIn. So you can get all this on b2bhero.co for slash blog. Hope you're having a great day and speak to you guys very soon.